Hi again everyone, I hope you're all having a great day. Um, so unless you've been blocking out the media, you would have heard about the chat room driven moves in the stock market that have been making headlines this week. Interestingly, the motivation behind these stock rallies is actually getting a lot of bipartisan support from people on both the right and left side of America and the world's political spectrum. People see the stock movement as fighting back against the common enemy in the billionaire hedge fund managers who have used their influence and investing power to bolster their own wealth, often at the cost of other smaller players in the market for decades now. A number of figures on Wall Street in light of the developments this week have been calling for more regulation around this kind of activity as they don't think it is fair, where ironically many of these big Wall Street players are guilty of similar behaviour of manipulating stocks for their own gain for decades. Um, much of Wall Street's complaints are not winning over many supporters from the general public, but there are a number of people in Washington who are giving them some credence, particularly those that represent the establishment of both major parties. Um, the historic greed of some of these hedge funds is much to the distaste of the general public at the moment. And like in any classical battle, it is hard for a neutral to root for Goliath when he is up against little David. So when Robinhood limited trading on the stocks that had been heavily targeted by these chat room investors the other day, there was outrage among people who were watching on from the sides, as they saw this as potentially being interference from the wealthy in the markets, and the public outrage was from both sides of the political spectrum. One of the loudest in Washington, as she too often is, was Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez, or AOC. Um, AOC has been quite outspoken on Robinhood's actions and has flagged potentially investigating brokerage firms like Robinhood, as was seen in this tweet. This is unacceptable behaviour. We now need to know more about at Robinhood app's decision to block retail investors from purchasing stocks while hedge funds are freely able to trade the stock as they see fit. As a member of the Financial Services Committee, I'd support a hearing if necessary. In a public demonstration of unity and bipartisanship, Ted Cruz retweeted AOC's original tweet with two words, fully agree. There you have it. Perhaps the first public act of unity on a major issue between these warring parties since before the election. They actually agreed on something. But then after seeing the tweet, I realized who Ted Cruz actually is. He's a crazy underworld figure that had once hired a hitman to take out AOC during the Capitol riots, as seen in this Hollywood remake starring Arnold Schwarzenegger as Ted Cruz's hitman and Robert Patrick as AOC. <laughs> So it came as hardly any surprise that AOC replied to Ted Cruz's act of bipartisanship about an hour later with this tweet. I am happy to work with Republicans on this issue where there's common ground, but you almost had me murdered three weeks ago, so you can sit this one out. Happy to work with almost any other GOP that aren't trying to get me killed. In the meantime, if you want to help, you can resign. So AOC feels that Ted Cruz tried to murder her because he led the push to reject the electoral college certification in what has been the most controversial election in the States since Bush won office back in 2000. I think she is actually nuts, but I think other people outside of her loyal minions would agree with that sentiment. So this conclusion is no surprise to anyone really. What hope does America have for unity if this is an elected leader who you are meant to find common ground with? If the Dems really want unity, they need to stamp out this sort of illogical and twisted voice when there actually is a moment of unity. Dealing with AOC seems to be akin to dealing with a spoilt two-year-old. I mean, come on, New York, surely there is a more moderate Democrat candidate or just someone who is a little more rational to run for the fairly safe blue position of the 14th Congressional District. Someone please put your hand up to take this position. America, if you truly want unity, you've got to get rid of this voice. She's unhinged. Elected officials are meant to act rationally and in the interests of their constituents. Surely Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez has failed to meet this mandate. Anyway, sorry about the little rant. I just thought that this was straight up lunacy. I know politicians can be the most frustrating figures at times, 
But for me, AOC really takes the cake for America. Um, let me know your thoughts on AOC and her response to Ted Cruz in the comments below. Am I missing the point or are others, particularly the US taxpayers, annoyed that their taxes are funding this type of gas bag? Um, also, if you haven't subscribed yet, please feel free to do so. I'm doing my best to get content out daily and really appreciate the support that you guys have given me so far. Um, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Cheers.